Well, Nivs did it again. He got the uh, Inatab customizer updated for the Inatab 2 so that it can make thumbnails for the Inatab 2. If you've been trying to use the uh, Inatab customizer that was attached to the previous uh, YouTube video, you might have noticed that the thumbnails aren't showing up. Well, this is the new version made by Nivs. I downloaded it off the Inatab customizer's Yahoo group. Uh, and I'll put a link to this on in the description of this video so you can download it too. What it does is once you have some customized videos on here, you'll notice that none of these have thumbnails over here. As I scroll down through here, none of them have thumbnails. So I'm going to show you how you can put thumbnails into uh, your Inatab because chances are your kids can't read all the same reasons that I did the last video. Uh, first thing you want to do is decide which one you're going to do. Uh, here's, the, here's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme songs because my kids love them. Uh, here's one from the most recent one from 2012. So what I want to do first is I want to try to find a picture that that I think represents this uh, song or this video, and then I want to save that picture of it. And uh, first place I'm going to look is on Amazon. Here's the uh, picture from Amazon's website. And since I found this, I want to right click on this. I'm going to say save image as. It pops up, asks me what I want to call it. I'll just call it TMNT2012 to represent the year and I'll save it out to my desktop and push save. Alright, so now it's saving and it's saved. Now I'll go back to the uh, Initab customizer. I want to select on the 2012 Nick Animated Series. I click change thumbnail and there it is and I push open and there it is there's the thumbnail and it looks like uh, it's square it's pretty good shaped now if I want I can go back you can look at my other video and you can figure out how to make it square and how to get the size you get the uh, shape you want uh, because if you if you want all of the word turtles on here you'd have to adjust the picture over a little bit maybe chop some off of this side but for the most part this does a pretty good job so I got that uh, on there and the other thing I want to do is Notice how none of these videos are in alphabetical order. And uh, what the Intab does is when it plays videos, it'll play one after the other. So this one here, this video, is supposed to play in one, two, three, four order, but because of this, the way the database is laid out, it's playing in a reverse order. So every time it changes the next video, you have to stop it, go back, and change it. So to fix that, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click this sort alphabetically. Please wait, sorting the database. And now you'll notice they're all in alphabetic order. The numbers go first, followed by the letters. So, there they are. So hopefully, I will, I'll show you this. That one has the thumbnail. So I'll go ahead and I'll quit out of this. And I'll boot up my init tab and we'll see if it's on there. So the video player is starting up and we'll see if the uh, thumbnail so made it on here. And look at that, there it is. The init tab 2 with thumbnails. Let's see what this video looks like. Let's see your Leap Pad 2's play this. <laughs> okay, that was just a slam at the Leap Pads 2 because they can't play the custom videos. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, that's how you can get thumbnails on your in the tab 2's videos and uh, save them in, and sort your videos alphabetically. You can also use the Inatab customizer to add photos to your uh, Inatab 2 and uh, and add uh, music to your Inatab 2 if you want to as well. They're just different tabs inside the program. Uh, I'll put links to the program and um, in the description below. And if you want to buy an Inatab, then there's also a link for that down below. Thanks.